we are back here in Kingdom Hearts, uh, in Wonderland specifically, which, yeah. Um, last time we collected a bunch of evidence, uh, we got Blizzard, which, uh, is pretty cool. So, now, we've gotten all the evidence we can. There are four boxes, so if you are missing one, go back and check to see what you're missing. So, if you, uh, talk to these guys, they'll be like, uh, are you ready? You have to talk to these guys, not the bunny or the queen. And we'll be like, sure. So, what will end up happening because of this is we have our evidence. But she also has one piece, two, three, or four, depending on how much evidence you, you have. You are required to have one piece of evidence. So, all this does is increase your chances of picking the right evidence. If you pick the wrong one, Donald or Goofy, or and Goofy, yes, it's possible, that they will be left out of a future fight, which right away is going to be future. I always pick the right one, it's just kind of habit, but um, now we're going to have a pretty long fight of the cards and what I call the card tower. It is a pretty easy fight, and it's, it's supposed to be a boss, but I don't count it. But overall, um, since it's pretty easy, just attack this while Donald and Goofy maybe destroy the cards. While you're doing this, you'll destroy the cards as well that are near you, or you should. Sometimes you'll get poked, it's not that big of a deal. But um, while we're doing this, I kind of want to talk about something that I didn't bring up when we got Donald and Goofy because it's not very important, I should say when you first get them because they don't level up right away but we're going to talk about the level ups there's the other health um the level ups that they can get so donald and goofy do not get abilities nearly as much as you do by the way you attack the tower after this pretty easy higher experience let's collect some money and Bang! Alice is gone. And we have to go find her. Blah, blah, blah. But real quick, continue on, continuing on my discussion of abilities, which I haven't even... Have, 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 have. No idea what I was doing there. But um, we can equip uh, abilities. Now, Jackpot is very good. It really is it I probably should have had it for that fight but um, these are all abilities I actually don't really like rocket but goofy doesn't really matter that much so let's go heal right here uh, and let's move on looking for Alice but based on their level ups uh, they don't nearly get as much of as many abilities as you and downright they stop getting abilities around 55 or 54 54 being goofies and 55 being uh donald's from memory and so they have way less abilities and overall their their level ups aren't really that important in this game when they level up it's not a big deal by the way you can now get tech points by killing these guys with blizzard just to let you know blaze shard is useful i'm kind of just traveling around and doing damage and you'll see me use magic here because magic is downright going to be stronger for a good portion of the game where's the large body this these are called large bodies by the way um you'll find that you cannot attack the front so easy oh come on just die thank you um, but magic does go through its front as well. Uh, you'll try and circle around to get the back. Just make sure you're destroying anything with range like the red nocturnes and we'll come to see a couple other ranged enemies soon. But ultimately once they get low enough they'll get in like a supercharged state which just means they'll do a, a pretty hurtful hit. Let's just kill them. Fire does go through so make sure you know that stuff like that and make sure you fight everything in this forest because we do have a boss coming up that is quite difficult and stuff so 
we're just going to be doing this. Uh, we could push that rock, but I don't feel like it right now. I want to clear this forest first. But back to Donald and Goofy's level ups. They are based uh, on yours, so to say. Except they don't have the experience multiplier that you do at the beginning of the game. So most of the time, uh, Goofy will eventually be about four levels ahead of me. And then it'll slow down to three. Will be about where it's at. Usually it's going to be four though. But for each of their abilities that they gain, they also have their own AP stat. It is not dependent on yours. Thank God, because I would... <laughs> Leave them empty because Donald is useless and Goofy is a little more useful in certain fights. But overall, they're not that great. So we could move on to the story and stuff, or we can uh, completely ignore that because that's how we do it here. We are actually going to do it this way. Hop over here. So you can see a door that we can't get to quite yet. And we pretty much explored every other section that we can. Let me just get rid of you, and then there we go. Every other section's fully explored, so to say. But if we talk to our good friend here, that will, uh, no, not that. That will increase our size if, uh, we give him a potion. Thank you, friend. We can push this rock. It opens up a new direction, which is great. More exploration. We kind of need it right now. Uh, I recommend hitting that and then spinning the tree because that will also unlock a new area. Now, we're not going to go to the section of the rock because if we do, it will reset where the tree is. So if you go up here like we did last time to get to the other side of the bizarre room, you'll find you can't. It's actually not feasible. Can I make it? Yep. But we can now make it over here, which is pretty cool. It's another side of the bizarre room. Um, this is actually very important for later as well. Hey, nice level up. Ten. We, ten. I was going to say ten. We should be level ten. Alright. Oh, large body. I'm not going to use magic here for a specific reason. Just to see what the large body fight is normally. It's not that hard. You should be able to do it pretty easy. Are you serious? Thank you. Thank you. You could tech that pretty easily. Not that hard. Are you? I'm using magic. I'm not dealing with that. Alright. Lucid shard. Alright. How are you not dead? As you can see, there's a bear here, which is kind of important later. We're going to knock it down, though. And then... Fire. Really? I, I was going to show that you couldn't light it with... Um, what's it called? With fire, but the game decided, I'm going to troll you. But we get a treasure chest from here. Defense up, which is very cool. And we can examine. And we will go back to the Lotus Forest. Which actually just leads to right here. This is very important for later. Make sure you know. We have an elixir and a potion. We can not do either of them. So let's go to our stock. Okay, I was checking. Make sure. Take out. We do have an elixir, which is great. And we do have a potion. Hopefully it gives us something worthy back. They usually do. This is usually not a terrible choice. We get some magic and a high potion. A nice upgrade for our potion. And you better give me something good back. Elixirs are very valuable. Mithril shard. And eh, not that great. Uh, the money is worth something. Uh, and overall, that's all we can do right now. Uh, White Trinity is unlocked for a long, long time. And this needs thunder, which we do not have yet. So let's go back in through the painting. And we'll get back here. And that's pretty much it. We are going to fight these guys. We need the experience. Trust me, you do. You need a lot of experience. Um, one thing of note. 
Nice. Man, that was good, like, collateral hit. Is that, uh, as you go through Wonderland, you'll start to see that your level is very important for this part of the game. Um, overall, the certain level cap... Uh, that's a bad way of saying that. But the recommended level is all dependent on how you play the game, of course. Um, but in Wonderland, it's a much more strict along with the next few fights we have, mostly because the bosses are just that. They are true bosses. They are pretty hard to defeat by yourself. Um, and I think we are done. Ooh, hi. Uh, I wasn't going to explain you yet. But these are white mushrooms. They will act a certain way. We're just going to do this because I don't have time to sit here. But they will act a certain way and you have to do the occurring uh, spell. I'm not going to go into which ones does what because I'm, I didn't want to explain it yet. I, and that's Blizzard. And they'll usually give some... Ooh, Mr. Goo. Frost Shard. Yeah. That's so good. Uh, we're gonna ignore the rest of them and go into the tea party garden. That was not I I love it. I got mystery goo, which is very valuable. Um, you'll see later But we are now in the tea party garden. Uh, we're gonna ignore the white mushrooms. I'll get into them later So it's just a random tea party. We can't really do anything But if you examine the sign, it'll say a very unhappy birthday Still can't do anything with these chairs, but if you click it again sit down and get your present now there are a total of seven chairs. I can count, that's amazing. But uh, we got an elixir back, which is cool. Um, two of them will spawn enemies, while the other five will usually give rewards. Usually the cake means enemies. We're just gonna do that. And then that again. You can spam it pretty easily. Oh, sorry. I had kind of a hiccup there, but I kind of ignored it. Uh, just to reset it, you just need to go back in and out. It's not too hard. No white mushrooms. But we are gonna... Let's see, what else? Yeah, you get a bunch of random stuff from this. Um, the two enemy ones are... Well, you saw the first one. The second one is right here. We're not going to do that because the other ones... Give us rewards, and that way we can do this and be done. Though, I did not expect most of this to take this long. I really expected to be done with the Wonderland pretty quick. Wonderland's actually really short in comparison to some worlds. But, overall, we're just going to collect stuff. I'm actually going to collect a lot of this magic. Oh, come on. There we go. I forgot which chairs I sat in. It's only been like three seconds. All right. But you can keep checking the sign. It won't respawn the chairs, by the way. And we have one last set of enemies to defeat. So let's do this. What we have a large body. It does spawn a random set of enemies. I thought it was always Red Nocturnes for this one, but I guess it's random. Thank you, Donald, for actually doing something. Huh, I did not know it was random. So we're going to make a jump through Lotus Forest real quick. Uh, we still have quite a bit to do. It's really strange how only four rooms in this whole place. Here's another Blue Trinity. Um, that, that's not... I didn't want to switch... Lock on. Lock on. Thank you. But here's another thunder thing. Uh, he wants a high potion. He'll give something. We're going to go into the Queen's Castle. Get a treasure chest. And let's see what this is. Yep, Dalmatians. More Dalmatians to bring back. And with that, I think we're going to end this one. So, uh, we pretty much have explored all we can. Next time, we will be doing a little bit more exploration exploration not that much and then we will be fighting the boss of the area and the boss is pretty hectic so be sure to be there be sure to be there that sounds weird so till then